Hey everyone, I'm Tamira Tendo and this is my testimony diary, a channel where I reveal to you God's great goodness. Today's video is going to be called How God Honored My Prayers in 2022. At the beginning of 2021, I prayed earnestly to God and I said, God, this year 2022 is going to be the year of redemption. I decreed it and declared it like I was like, I had my New Year's resolution in my notes. It's like I thought of it, but I, I don't know. But I was really decreeing and declaring like it's going to be the year of redemption. And what me and my god sister did on New Year's is that we got plates and we got sharpies and we wrote everything we wanted to leave in 2021 and we smashed them. It's just, it's just, I mean, it was fun, but it was like, I was really being serious. I was praying to God. I said, God, when I smash this plate, yeah, these things are going to be gone. Because the thing is, yeah, 2021, especially like the beginning, uh, it just wasn't it just wasn't the year for me especially because of the the beginning of the academic year in september it wasn't that nice but it just it was just a really shaky year but i knew i needed to be redeemed because i knew that in 2021 i had fallen short of god's glory let me tell you how god on my prayers so 2021 it was more of like i had friends but i felt like I only knew them at school, right? I felt like I wasn't that close with my friends. I'm not gonna say this, because if they're gonna be watching me, they're gonna be so mad, but like, they were my friends and they, they, they are my day ones, but it wasn't like that, that. And 2022 was the year that I began to go out more. Like, I decided what I like, especially me, like, for me, what I tend to do is I tend to follow the crowd. Like, even making YouTube is hard because it's like, I don't know how to act. I began to actually feel close to my friends, right? I'm doing my Tingle Christ, they're doing their Tingle Christ. It's like we're growing together. And it was it was really nice because like, oh, if I tell you the story of how I spread the gospel to my friends, it's just, it's just mad. That necessarily wasn't in my notes, but what I did was to have joy and to be grateful. I got to a season of Lent, right? And I remember I was like, oh, I really don't want to fast. I really don't want to like, give up anything for Lent. So I was like, you know, on the day Lent began, right? I was like, oh, okay, let me check when it's going to begin. And I saw it was today and I ignored it for about two weeks. I wasn't ready. I didn't know what I was going to give up. And then, you know, God chased me down and he was like, for Lent, I want you to give up secular music. I said, ah, if you don't know, yeah, like music and me, like music is my thing. Yeah, music is my thing especially in 2021 music i went to music as my god like, different songs tell me things and there's some people that i listen to that's like oh like i like I, I can't explain it it's just music wasn't a good thing for me and at that time dave's song starlight came out and i was obsessed with that he told me to give up sexual music and i was just really like i don't want to but i did obviously and i gave up sexual music for the remaining of length because it's 40 days so in those days if i tell you the way with god with the peace i had in those days and i had no secular music it was hard i had i had christian songs yeah bro if i give you my christian bro the artists we got little blaze we got evan and eris i had bare christian people to listen to so it wasn't like it wasn't like i didn't listen to music but what it was is because i was so hooked on secular music that i barely could enjoy it but the piece i had was just amazing and i thank god for that like everything was perfect like i used to before that i was like a messy person i still kind of am a messy person but my room was clean those days i was thinking clearly like things were working and then those days i prayed because i was invited to my cousin's birthday this is like in april i was invited to my cousin's birthday and god really honored my prayers because at that time we weren't really that close i was like bro i'm going in there blindly a bunch of people that i do not know i prayed so hard that i would have so much fun in that and on the train i was literally like deep in it, like okay when i when i get there what am i gonna do i just kept on hearing that voice said you don't even understand the amount of fun you're gonna have and i had i actually had so much fun and the glory of god was so there and it's because i didn't have any secular music i mean on the time of me going to a party lent had been over so i was listening to secular music but I was still having the experience like i was still there with god and i just felt everything just felt so right with god right everything felt so right i carried on the rest of my year and i've now gone in stronger with god right it's i've got i think around this time i have more like gospel christian music in my playlist like and it comes to june hey there is this prophet called prophet josiah Ocho. you should go see him on instagram in those june times like the first week of june he was doing this thing called midnight cry like we you used to go on live and we used to just pray together asking a bunch of other people used to go on live we used to just pray and those days like he was we were praying for like grace 
and favor this is how god redeemed me this year because before 2021 i didn't know how to pray like that like i didn't know like what like the wilderness season is you know yeah i actually thought it's like as long as i'm saved i'm saved like i understood that like oh you have your calling of your purpose but i didn't understand it was that deep like i was just like living my life for christ you see like with the secular music and all that i was saved i was saved but i wasn't like going into my calling intimate with him like that but anyways he was praying for grace and favor and it was like all week from 12 a.m for he used to always say it was going to be for one hour but it was but um we were just praying those days my parents are so mad at me so the way i was screaming loud i didn't know how to pray that's the thing like we were doing warfare prayers isn't it like ha, ha, the name of jesus here yeah. like i didn't know how to do that like i just knew how to pray for my life and my family and go to bed and this is a little testimony in it first testimony of the channel come on come on like after it finished it was from it was for five days from monday to friday and the saturday i went out for my friend erica's birthday and i'd already gone out on thursday so i had no money but it was her birthday she's like come on please come out T kid you not this was paid for us this paid for us to come out like we went to um c center and we and we walked around it's not like we did much but we went into primark and we just you know like hung out and she paid for me and i didn't like at the time like i was when i was praying it wasn't like i, was, I wasn't praying in faith but i was praying like this is what god wants you know this would be good for me i wasn't praying like deep and like oh grace and favor is actually gonna be upon my life it was her birthday as well and she paid for all of us it was four of us she paid for like all of us like what we were gonna eat and everything and we was like dang and now looking back at it like i really i really was that favored and then thingy and around that season time when i got back to school oh my gosh i remember even telling god this is before because i only clocked in september that those like that was the manifestation of the of the prayers right but when I even got back to school, because it was half time at that time, when we got back to school, I deeped how favored we were. I was like, I'm not, I wasn't the best, I'm not the best person in school. I wasn't the best person in school. So I was deeply, I was like, bro, times I was supposed to go isolation, times that was really rude. Like I'm ruining God's character and my character in Christ. I was like, I was getting vindicated. I was, you know what, yeah, it was the point where I was actually getting angry. I said, why am I not getting punished for this? Like that time, and I was so confused. Even when it got to July, right? just pure favor i just felt like i was just pure favored i just felt so much grace school was just so well and i didn't understand at the time that there was a manifestation of my prayers and during that time i got closer to god now it comes to summer summer i always at my cousin's house like it's never it's never something i'm bored i've never spent like summer alone at home you know what i mean like i prayed that i would have a good summer and I did, but it's not the summer that it's not the summer that I expected. Like I prayed to be like with my cousins and like what I usually used to do, like go to the house, stay there for the six weeks, and even like even if you don't do anything on one of the days of summer, it's like you're with your cousin anyway. So it's it's vibe, it's it's calm. That summer I didn't have that. I started getting closer, a lot more closer to God, right? And again, going down on the secular music and the prophet, he was still doing the midnight cries. I could feel myself getting close to God in that summer, like, it was by myself. I don't know if it's a wilderness season, uh, but it was like, I was I was by myself most of the majority of summer. Well, not by myself, I still did things that summer, but it wasn't like how I used to do things in the summer, innit? And when it became, like, to near the end of summer, the end of August, I just felt so much conviction, like, I couldn't watch Netflix, like, I could, it's not even just like convictions. I realized that like when I watched Netflix, I used to just fall into sin. And I, what I used to do is like, oh, okay, I won't watch it. I wouldn't watch it for a day, but the next day I go back to it. Like, oh, okay, I've gained up spiritual strength. Now I can go watch it again. So that's that's what I was doing. But it was just, I was just getting conviction. I was like, just don't watch Netflix. Just don't watch Netflix. And secular music, it was doing the same thing. It was ruining me. It was pulling me down. It didn't feel right with God. I just felt like sin. You know that feeling in sin? I was just not having it. With the secular music and everything, God was like, let it go. And God, the, the thing is, yeah, what I forgot to mention is sometime early in the year, I heard God's voice. Maybe it wasn't God's voice, but I heard like around in social media that time, stop listening to secular music, right? But one thing is, like I said, I couldn't, like I was hooked to it. It wasn't, it wasn't a healthy thing. 
I was hooked to it. So I, I literally said to God, I said, God, if you want me to stop this sucking your music, make me. Like in the most humble way possible, I said, make me because I, I, me, I can't do it myself. I, I just cannot give it up. So during that time, I just started moving a little bit away of the Netflix and secular music. And it got into like September. Hey, September. Oh my God, September. That was pruning season. Pruning season. If I tell you, oh my goodness. That like that time of September, right? Ended up not listening to secular music because like I said, it used to hurt. It just wasn't good, like in the sense. So I just stopped listening. So if you don't know what secular music is, secular music is music that's basically not like glorifying God, like talking about God. So I was listening to stuff like Drake, you know Drake with his sad songs, you know, like I was in the I was listening to all the artists that like maybe don't have, you know, good spirits behind them. Just gladly stop doing that. And in the pruning season god was silent that was a pruning season because first of all i think it felt like god had no mercy obviously he did because i messed up many many times the pruning season but it felt like god had no mercy it felt like oh i can't even explain it you know when you do something wrong it's like please and it's like no but no like i was, it felt like he had no mercy it was like i would fall and i would repent and you know like that feeling because i used to get you know when i repent it's like mm, like that feeling in my spirit that's like oh god forgives you he comforts you i would get none of that like obviously he's a merciful god he's a forgiving god so he would forgive me but i didn't feel none of that during the pruning season and it was it was a time like i would go to school come home i would just i can't explain it in fact i had no hope I had, I had no idea what was going on. I was like, God, how will you have mercy on me? I know, I know I'm, I'm sinful. It was a type of thing, but it wasn't like I was depressed because the peace I had in that season was... I remember the peace I told you when I first deleted secular music, that was the peace I had, but it was even stronger. But it was like, it felt like I had no hope. It felt like I had no hope. It felt like I had no way out. I want to do a video separately and like what the wilderness is because I, I was in the wilderness season, the pruning season. But I felt like I had no hope, like at all. And I would come home and I would listen. At that time, I was only listening to gospel music because that was my hope. Like I was doing anything I could to grab what I grab God, isn't it? So I was listening to a lot of songs and. You know, they were more like uh, R&B slowed songs, like contemporary R&B songs, and I would just, I would just be holding on to that, like the Bible verse I said, like the Bible verse I was holding on to. It was not, it was a song. It was by Terry Ann. It was stayed on me. It was about keeping your mind stayed on Jesus, and it was, it's oh, what's the Bible verse? The Bible verse was like God will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is fixed on Him, on God. So I was like trying so hard. I was like, I need peace. I had peace the whole time, but I thought peace would be like no problem. So I was just, it was just a hard time. It was just a hard time. And it happened for a full a month. I would have maybe one day when it was so good. The next day I would just fall. And it was just like, I couldn't get it right. It was up again, fall, up again, fall. And I got to more of October and it wasn't as bad. I was learning the ropes and god was being i could hear god a lot more because like he was like you know how the teachers always sound in a test like sis did not say anything like this was just this was just convicting me and forgiving me that's just all it felt like that september but when it got more to october I, I remember praying to god i said god i said is life like this i said how is it gonna stop like i like i was i was just so upset because i felt like i couldn't do anything like I, I felt like I was always busy. It felt like I had no rest. Because for me, rest was, I'm going to sit down and, you know, watch Netflix. Or watch what I want and do what I want. But it felt like I couldn't have that. I felt like as soon as I get home from school, God was like, okay, read your Bible. Okay, worship me. Okay, okay, now you have to eat and then do this and homework. And then, okay, back to worship me. Praying all night. You need to do you need to do long prayers. I thought, God, I have no rest. I said, oh my goodness. I just felt so sorry for myself. And I was like, God, I said, what type of life is this? I said, oh God, I feel like I don't have any rest. And then I saw a video. It was a video of this lady prophesying. She was talking about the pruning season. That's why I first heard of that word. But she was like, she was talking about how she felt like there was a time where she felt like God just kept on taking. Like, you feel like you can't hold on to something. You know what I mean? Like, the things I used to do, just watch down and watch Netflix. Or even just go downstairs and sit with my family. I felt like God was taken away come upstairs and be with me it's like it's like you have no rest and she was talking about how the pruning season was and how it felt like god just won't stop taking away 
and then she was like but it's a peace and it's a joy that i live in right now that i cannot explain that surpasses anything it's so fulfilling and so good and that when you get out of the pre season and when god is finished with you in that season and you get out girl it is it is so worth it it is so worth it and i was like okay i was like i was holding on to that as my hope because i just prayed to god and i was just that's exactly how i felt like in other words that's how i felt it felt like just god was just kept on taking away taking away and i was like what am i gonna do in my life like everything i ever knew god honored my prayer with that because that was confirmation and about three days later hey it was now october half term the type of peace and joy i had is actually crazy like i cannot explain it it's something that you will not be able to understand until you finish that season you have that hope with god and you get out the type of peace i had the type of joy i had it's my birthday in october so i was going out for my birthday and at that time bro testimony my birthday is a whole nother testimony guys this is my testimony now i got i got testimonies to tell you 2022 a lot those testimonies hey hey and again i was alone i wasn't in school so i just felt so much peace that time i finally let go of secular music and i got i think I, I think it was around that time i got into terms like okay i'm not gonna get back like this is god's will for me and god honored my prayer because i said to him early in the year maybe around march april i said god if you want me to give up secular music you do it because i cannot and he honored my prayer and the thing is it, there was never a time that i really truly heard god's command like during the premium season stop listening to secular music it was something that i just i just couldn't sit well with i got convicted by and it just got to a point and at that time as well like i had i had christian songs to listen to that were nice and upbeat but i didn't have that many and during that time the joy and the peace that you cannot explain yeah those times all the music all the good music started to come in i was watching the chosen them you know like you should watch the chosen i started to watch a new episode that came out yesterday it was just it was just so good and by the time i got back to school i was a new person that pruning season that september that end of august it was hard yeah i used to cry i used to be so confused like I, I used to hold on to any bit of god i had because it just felt so dark but god was faithful even in that season i had so much peace and he gave me music that i could listen to and there's people that would encourage me in those days and the peace the peace was there and you know the abide app i was doing the daily med meditations there was a lot of peace but i didn't understand that i had peace until i got out not that i want to go back but it was like oh that was so peaceful that now when i listen to one of the songs that was in those season it's like so much peace so much peace and like i thought secular music could fulfill me and netflix could it's just i can testify it's like when you get out it's so much worth it after like that season i went back to school i'm not gonna say things are perfect things are never gonna be perfect so don't expect that you're always gonna have trials tribulations but i had a clearer perspective i thought better i cherished everything i had a lot more like i saw things from a lot more humble point of view like i said like me and my friends we were so close i was i was really hitting it with my friends everything was so good everything had been redeemed my friendships because i wasn't good at keeping friendships like my friendships my spiritual life my relationship with god i feel like all of that was redeemed and it's like it's not that it's not that like i achieved something but i'm no longer what i used to be and that and that is what redemption is isn't it we just thank god for that because now when i got to the end of the year i was like dang i just look back at just the months and how god said oh you can't be with that person oh you can and how he's just been there through the whole time and to the end but now i know now i know now i know that prayers work now i know that god is always there whether you can't see him or hear him or not now i know that god is faithful and especially in the praying seasons you see god in a way that you would never understand before everybody knows jesus is the prince of peace but i don't know that he's the prince of peace in that way you get me that's that's my 2022 that is my 2020 that's how you honor my prayer in the year of redemption i just said i'm just so much redeemed like vindicated in school with my friends with him like I, I just felt so redeemed and i was so grateful and i said god you honor my prayers and now every year every single year 
best believe I'm gonna be praying, declaring things over my new year. So guys, that is my testimony of how God honored my prayers in 2022. In 2022 is where, like this is my testimony diary, so you're gonna see a lot of my testimonies. 2022, so much fun, so much joy, so much peace, so much more knowledge and humility and memories. Oh gosh, it's been a good year. But thank you so much for watching and I thank you that you made it to an end. God bless you guys. I ask that you will subscribe, like and stick around for more. Um, I'm gonna be back a lot and see a lot more testimonies. I hope this video encourages you, especially if any of you have been through a pruning season, a wilderness season, if you're in one, or if you're hooked onto something, girl. It's more like the secular music. It's not a sin to listen to them, but it's like, you can listen to it, but don't, because they'll ruin you. If you have been given the grace, maybe you've been called to do something in that area by God, where you are, have to be around that, then yeah but it's anything that you're holding on to right now that you're using to say oh it's not a sin trust me nine times out of ten god's going to take that away soon but it's so much worth it so so much worth it yeah have faith bye